examination is lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are best examined usually from the back side of the patient. We are going to examine the cervical lymph nodes. First of all, there are seven levels of cervical lymph node. First of all, you are going to examine the level 1A. 1A is called as the submental lymph node. You are going to examine the submental lymph node. Remember, you are going to only examine one side at a time. If you are going to examine this side, your this hand should be fixed. If you are going to examine this hand, your this hand should be fixed. Examine the 1A lymph node, which is the submental lymph node. Then gently proceed to the 1B lymph node, which is the submandibular lymph nodes. After examining the 1B, you are going to proceed to the parotid lymph nodes. You are simply going to palpate it with two fingers, then you are going to proceed with the preauricular lymph nodes. Then you are going to come to the postauricular lymph nodes. You can also examine the occipital lymph nodes over here. After occipital, you will have come to the level 2 lymph nodes. In level 2 lymph nodes, level 2 lymph nodes are usually on the upper jugulodigastric. You have simply asked, you are going to flex the neck of the patient and you are simply going to feel the upper part of the sternocleidomastoid. Then you have to come to level 3 where you will feel the mid cervical lymph nodes. Then you have to come to the level 4 which is the lower border of the sternocleidomastoid. After level 4, you will have to come to the posterior triangle where you feel the level 5 lymph nodes. After that, you will come to the paratracheal lymph nodes, which is the level 6 lymph node. You have to palpate the paratracheal lymph nodes. You cannot palpate the level 7 lymph nodes, which are metastatic lymph nodes.